What's up YouTube, Defragon here with another amazing guide on Death Knight PvP. This time it is going to be on Unholy PvP. Um, first off, I will not be going into the gems and enchants that you will need to buy for Unholy because they are exactly the same as Frost. So if you want to know those, just go to my Frost D uh, Death Knight PvP guide and look at those. I'll leave a description. Uh, link in the description and the time at which you should start watching it to find out the gems and enchants to use. Alright, jumping right into Unholy PvP, we will look at the spec. There's only one core spec that you will need. The only possible thing you could change in this spec is to take a point of an Ebon Plaguebringer and put it into Sudden Doom. What that would do is that would give you uh, take away some of the damage, extra damage you get from your diseases, but it will cause your free death coil procs to happen more often. That's something you can do, you don't have to. Alright, for the Prime Glyphs, there's Death Coil, Raise Dead, and Scourge Strike. Those are the three glyphs that you will want for your Prime Glyphs. For your Major Glyphs, you will want your Anti-Magic Shells, uh, Dark Secure, and Strangulate Glyphs. That's your Major. For your Minor Glyphs, you want the Horn of Winter, Resilient Grip, and Death's Embrace. Alright, once you get all those glyphs, your stat priority is, you, of course, your 5% hit first, then your 195 spell penetration, then your resil, strength, haste, crit, mastery, and expertise. Once you acquire that 5% hit cap, be sure to reforge the lowest priority stat, in this case it would be expertise or mastery, and crit if you don't really need the crit and you want to turn it into haste. That is your most important stat as a unholy death knight all right now that we've got that out of the way we will go straight into what moves to use and when to use them since there is no rotation in pvp it is all situational first thing you want to do is you want to hit your target with outbreak to put your diseases on the target so that your scourge strikes hit harder next is to use your scourge strikes when you need to apply damage your scourge strikes are your hardest hitting attack it's what you're going to be used it's what you're going to use to dish out the most damage the quickest Next is you want to use your Festering Strike whenever your diseases are about to fall off your target. What Festering Strike does is it increases the duration at which the diseases are on the target. So whenever your diseases get low, I'd say about 10 seconds till they drop off, I would use Festering Strike to build the time back up on them so that your outbreak can have time to get off its cooldown. Of course next you want to be sure to keep your goal out at all times and any time. Uh, dark transformation procs you want to use dark transformation on your goal because whenever you do that your goal increases in how much damage it does significantly and it helps you out a lot of course whenever you want to blow your cooldowns you want to blow your gargoyle you want to blow your unholy frenzy uh, which will increase your haste and your rune regeneration which is how fast you can use your scourge strike that will increase your damage output and you'll be able to quickly burn down enemies if you have your Dark Transformation proc'd, your Gargoyle out, and Unholy Frenzy on you. Along with a PvP trinket, you do massive, massive amounts of damage. Uh, and you want to use your Death Coil to dump all your runes whenever you have nothing else to use. If the enemy's kiting you, you can use your Death Coil to keep them, uh, keep them hurting while they're away from you or running away from you. Uh, and death coil whenever you're full on runes and you have nothing else to use them for but be careful because I find myself a lot of the times especially in unholy spamming death coil and I won't have enough runic power to use something else say to lichborn and start spam healing myself with death coils I won't have the runic power for that so be careful on how you do spend your runic power because that is a big problem for unholy DKs Alright, well I think this will conclude my little guide on Unholy Death Knight PvP. I hope it helped some of you out, and as always, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe, like the video, it would really, I really appreciate it. And once again, thanks for watching, and look out for new videos.